Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on Cobbler's Vlogs where today we are back for the start of the 2022-2023 season. That's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Uh, the season starts on Saturday. I can't believe we're starting a season in July, but there you go. That's not in our control. What we're going to be doing today is what I do at the start of every season. And that's upsetting the whole of the League 2 fan base by predicting where I think every single team is going to finish in the table. We're going to be going from down in 24th all the way up to the title winners. And let's see where I've put your team in League 2. Here we we go. Okay, now I think a lot of people are going to call me salty uh, from the end of last season for this prediction because bottom of League Two this season, I have gone with Barrow. Um, there is absolutely nothing in their squad that kind of tells me that they're going to stay up. The only name really that stands out for me is Sam Foley, who used to uh, play for the Cobblers, my team. Um, but yeah, just nothing really exciting me about Barrow this season. And I think they're going to go back down to the National League. Same with Harrogate Town. I don't think, you know, they've strengthened that much. Uh, they had a good start to last season. We're doing OK. I mean, the Cobblers played them around Christmas time uh, and they were kind of just outside the playoffs then and then really dropped off towards the end of last season. I don't think Harrogate, Harrogate has strengthened much uh, during the summer either. So uh, it's going to be Harrogate Town and Barrow that are going to get relegated from League Two this season in 23rd and 24th. Let's have a look at the lower end of the table then. Uh, we're going to go from 22nd up to about 12th now. Uh, the lower end, you know, those that don't really do too well or maybe they push and drop off. That seems to happen a lot in League Two with teams that finish down the bottom. Uh, 22nd, I've gone with Colchester. A lot of people tipping Colchester to get relegated this season. Looking at the squads, I think Harrogate and Barrows are worse than Colchester. And I think Colchester will just about have enough to stay up. But don't be surprised if Harrogate stay up and Colchester go down. Uh, that wouldn't, you know, that wouldn't be a massive shock to everyone. Uh, 21st. A lot of people seem to think, you know, these are the dark horses in League Two this season. I think the complete opposite. Uh, I'm, I've gone with Walsall. I think that might be a bit of a controversial one. I've seen people predicting Walsall to get in the playoffs or even higher. Michael Flynn, obviously, is, is at Walsall. Fantastic manager. Um, but they've not really done a lot in the summer. They've brought in Andy Williams, um, who's, you know, decent for this level. But I don't think he's someone uh, that you should be signing if you want to get promotion. So I don't think Walsall are going to have a great year. I think they're going to struggle again in League Two. They've obviously got new owners, Walsall. Probably should bear that in mind. Uh, so maybe this might be one at the end of the season where I think that's a bit of a shocker. But for me, Walsall down in 21st. Next up in 20th, I've gone with Sutton. I think for Sutton, it's going to be kind of second season syndrome. Did really well last season. We're pushing for promotion for most of the season with Sutton and just missed out on the playoffs in the end. Uh, but I think people are probably going to work them out this year. I don't think they're going to be as good as they were last year. I think it's going to be 20th for Sutton, which I think most Sutton fans would have taken at the start of last season. I think they'll probably take staying up at this season. Though Being a league club is absolutely massive for Sutton at the moment. So I think they'll be quite happy uh, to finish there. Uh, in terms of next, Stevenage, I've gone with them in 19th. Again, a lot of people are saying they're going to be dark horses this season with Steve Evans at the helm. I can't see that happening. Uh, they brought in Danny Rose over the summer. Uh, that's about it that, that, that's kind of notable. And Danny Rose isn't really that much of a big league two name anymore, uh, considering how bad he was uh, for the Cobblers. So I've gone with Stevenage in 19th. Don't think they're going to do too well. 18th, again, another one that's probably going to cause some uh, some issues. I've gone with Swindon Town. I don't think they're going to do too well either this season. Um, obviously got in the playoffs last year, but seem to have just lost all their best players to Charlton. Um, so I, And they've not replaced them very well. So 18th, I think it's going to be for Swindon. Now, I know I've already said this twice about Walsall and Swindon. And I'm going to say it as well about Rochdale. People seem to be tipping Rochdale as well for some reason to do OK. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, they've brought in Tumani Diagoraga from Morecambe, who's, you know, is a decent midfielder. Uh, but they've not really made too many, you know, star signings apart from that. They're going to help them push for promotion. So I've gone for Rochdale in 17th. Uh, in 16th, I've gone for the first of the teams that came down from League One last season. I've gone with AFC Wimbledon. AFC Wimbledon fans seem to be really negative about their chances at the moment. They've obviously just moved into their new stadium. It seems that AFC Wimbledon, obviously fan-owned, might be a little bit short of, cash, short of cash at the moment and are probably never going to go higher than League One uh, in their existence anyway. Um, so I think AFC Wimbledon, it's just going to be a very average season for them. 16th. Uh, 15th, I've gone with Carlisle United. Um, a little bit of an improvement on last season, but not that much. I think they kind of finished in that 16th, 17th, 18th area last year, didn't they? Somewhere like that. Obviously had a really good uh, run under Paul Simpson when he came in uh, as their manager, obviously a club legend uh, there. But I can't see Carlisle pushing for promotion this season. I think it's going to be another average season for them. Uh, they've brought in Ryan Edmondson from Port Vale, who didn't really do much at Port Vale. He was OK. Uh, they've also still got Amari Patrick. Uh, important for them to, to keep hold of him. He was obviously very good for them last season uh, when Simo came in. 
but I think it's going to be pretty average for Carlisle this season. 15th for them. Uh, in 14th, I've gone with another one of the relegated teams uh, from League One, and that is Gillingham. Uh, Gillingham fans, again, don't seem very optimistic about their chances this season. Obviously, just come down from League One. Neil Harris said that uh, seven of the players under contract for this season weren't going to be there. Uh, all seven are still there. Uh, so that's quite quite a funny one from Neil Harris. Uh, but yeah, Gillingham, I don't think they're going to have a good season back in League Two. I think it's just going to be mediocrity for them. Gillingham fans don't seem very optimistic. Uh, so 14th for them. In 13th, I've gone with Hartlepool. A massive transition at Hartlepool over the summer. Loads of players coming out. Loads more coming in. Um, but I don't think they're any better than they were last season. I think a mid-table 13th uh, is all that it's going to be for Hartlepool. Uh, Crawley, these are a really interesting one. I've gone with Crawley in 12th. Very, very interesting Crawley. They've obviously got these new, uh, I think they're American owners. that are into some kind of crypto thing and you buy NFTs. And I don't understand any of this. Um, you kind of like buy a small share in the club and then that share kind of means you get to vote on who the next signing becomes. It, it doesn't seem the right way to run a football club for me, especially down in League Two. And I think at some point it will fail and they'll get found out. I think this season it's going to be an average season for Crawley. Uh, a lot of people tipping them to get relegated. They've obviously got a rookie manager in charge um, now. Uh, they've also signed Tom Del Dom Telford uh, from Newport, who's obviously, you know, was top scorer, I think, in League Two last season. Uh, so I think he'll probably do OK for them. And they've got a still got a decent squad, uh, but I don't think there's going to be anything special from Crawley this season. I think they're going to finish in 12th. OK, looking into the top half of the table, we will start in 11th. And I've gone for another relegated team from League One, uh, and that is Doncaster Rovers. Uh, got them in 11th. Don't think they're going to set the world alight. Um, they've obviously, you know, one of the bigger teams of bigger clubs in the division at the moment they're probably one of the bigger clubs in, in league one as well if if you look at some of the clubs there as well Doncaster very big club for league two should really if you think about it be going for a promotion they have just come straight back down from league one they've got the stadium they've got the infrastructure they've got everything there uh, but they were absolutely shambolic in league one last season deserved to get relegated uh, and I think for them it's just going to be about kind of sustaining themselves in league two um, obviously I don't think they're going to get relegated from league two that makes it sound as if you know they're going to have back-to-back -back relegations that's not going to happen for Doncaster uh, but I don't think they, they're kind of in a position where they're ready to bounce straight back into League One. I think, you know, just settle down in League Two, have a decent season in 11th and then push for a promotion uh, next season. They've also got Kieran Agard in there now. They've signed Luke Molyneux from Hartlepool as well. A lot of Hartlepool fans surprised he went to Doncaster, thought he'd go much higher than that. Uh, but he's at Doncaster and will probably do well there. Uh, but I think it's going to be an average season for Doncaster. Just rebuild themselves, settle down in League Two, then push for promotion the season after. Uh, so 11th this season for Doncaster. In 10th, I've gone for the final team that got relegated from League One. Teams that get relegated from League One very rarely go straight back up from League Two. I know Bristol Rovers kind of did it last year, but can't think of too many examples in recent years um, off the top of my head. So yeah, 10th, I've gone with Crew. They've signed Courtney Baker Richardson, I believe, from Newport. Chris Long's in there at front. They've also got a player called Dan Adji, uh, who is a young kind of up and coming striker. Um, I mean, I only really know him from career mode, so I'm probably going to get slated for saying that. <laughs> Uh, so we'll talk about Baker Richardson and, and Chris Long, what I actually know about their ability. Um, so yeah, crew, I think are going to do okay. Again, a bit like Donny, just have a nice season in League 2, do okay, have some ups, have a couple of downs, maybe flirt with the playoffs a little bit, but I don't think they're going to go much higher than 10th. Uh, in ninth, I've gone with probably last season's promotion favourites. Everybody was tipping them to go up under Kenny Jacket last season, and it all kind of went wrong for Leighton Orient. Uh, so I've got them in ninth. I think, again, they'll kind of just flirt with the playoffs a little bit, not do much better than that, um, and it's going to be ninth place for them. Richie Wellens, obviously, uh, at the helm there, I think, so... He can create a very dangerous team in League Two. Whether or not that's going to happen this season, we will soon find out. And then in eighth, I have gone with Grimsby Town. Obviously, just come up from the National League. And I think they're going to have that kind of promotion bounce. I think they're going to do well. I think there could be points where they're maybe in the top three and they just drop down a little bit like Sutton did last season. Um, but yeah, Grimsby, I think they're going to have a good season. They'll pack out their ground pretty much every week. Um, not looking forward to going to their place on the second day of the season because that will probably be their first home game. They'll be buzzing to be back in the Football League. So Grimsby's always a horrible place to go, horrible team to play against. And I think they're going to do well and finish eighth. OK, so let's have a look at who is going to finish in the playoffs in League Two this season. In seventh, I've gone with Newport County. Newport are always fairly strong in League Two, but never quite make that step either into the playoffs or into the automatic promotion places. I think they're going to do OK this season. Uh, they're bought in some decent players. They've got Chanka. 
Kazimba in from Cardiff, who's not really proven himself yet, um, but he's just down the road, a bit more closer to home than where he was last season, which was at the mighty Northampton Town. Didn't do too well, was affected by injury, uh, but I think he could do okay. They've got Omar Bogle in there as well, who's decent at this level, uh, and Zanzala has also joined Newport. So I think Newport could be a threat this season um, and could be decent. I don't think they're quite good enough uh, compared to the rest of the squads that are above them, and I don't think they'll win the playoffs if they get into them, uh, but I think they'll have a decent season, Newport, so that's why I've gone with them in seventh. Uh, in sixth, I've gone with a team that pretty much gets predicted to, to go up every season in League Two, but never does, and that is, of course, Salford City. Got all the money they could want in the world, uh, but don't seem to be able to get out of the division. Still got a decent squad there, um, but I don't think they're going to be pushing for the title, pushing for promotion. I think playoffs is where Salford will finish, just like they did last season, uh, and they'll probably won't win them. Uh, in fifth, I've gone with Tramir. Uh, a lot of people think Tramir will either do much better than that and win the league. Some people thinking Tramir are going to be down kind of in mid-table and, and even lower. Um, I think Tramir are just going to have like a, you know, a solid season. Um, they should be pushing for the playoffs. They are one of the biggest clubs uh, in, in the division as well and should be going up in, and should really be in League One. Probably got unfairly relegated from League One during that COVID season as well. Haven't quite been able to recover it. But I think they're going to have a good season this year, Tramir, and it's fifth place for them. The final team in the playoffs, I didn't want to be too optimistic. I've gone with my own team, Northampton Town. I didn't want to be arrogant and say, yeah, we're going to win the league, we're going to do this, going to do that. Um, because I, I don't I don't want to be that kind of big club mentality kind of person. Uh, we are one of the bigger clubs in the division. There's no doubt about that. Um, but I don't think the, you know, the three teams I've got above us are better than us at this point, I think, which is why I think we're just going to fall short like we did last season and finish in the playoffs, but hopefully win the playoffs uh, against Salford at Wembley. That'd be quite fun, wouldn't it? Um, obviously, the likes of Danny Hilton have come in. Ryan Haynes come in from Newport. Got the likes of Sam Shering. Kieran Bowie's come in as well. Uh, Lee Burge in goal as well. Looks decent. We've just signed Tyler McGlure as well, uh, who was obviously very good when he came in on loan until he got injured. So some really, really solid signings from the Cobblers. Uh, the squad seems better. It seems like we're going to have more options on the bench this season. Still got Aaron McGowan to come back from injury. He's going to be like a new signing when he returns as well. And then there's still the, you know, the spine of last year are still at the club. Sam Hoskins still there. Mitch Pinnock is still there. Ali Koike. Aaron McGowan, as I mentioned. John Guffrey's still there. Looks like he may move on, though, uh, to Wrexham at some point during the window. So we'll have to see about that one. But yeah, plenty of the core squad still there. Uh, at the Cobblers, and I think we're going to do okay this season. I'd like to say we'll, uh, you know, I'd like to say we'll get promoted, and I think we could get those automatic spots easily enough. Don't want to be too confident. Don't want to be too optimistic. Last season I predicted us tenth, and we finished fourth. This year I'm predicting us fourth. Maybe we'll finish third. Who knows? Okay, so finally then, my top three in League Two. Uh, originally, I did put this team to be the champions, but then I did see the other two teams, and I was like. Nah, they're probably better than them. Uh, so, yeah, I've gone with Bradford City in third. I think Bradford are going to be a real force to be reckoned with. I think that place is going to be sold out by the end of the season with all, you know, 25,000 or whatever they can get in Valley Parade. Uh, I think, you know, if they do well, they'll be able to sell that place out easily. Um, so I think Bradford City are going to be third this season. Uh, they're going to be a force to be reckoned with. Mark Hughes, obviously, at the helm. Very, very experienced manager. Not at League Two level, but still a very experienced manager and knows how to get the best out of players. Obviously, got Richie Smallwood at the back. Lee Angles there. The Dane Oliver knows how to get out of this division, Abo East as well. So some fantastic signings in at Bradford uh, and I think they're going to do really well this season and get promoted. Uh, second, I've gone with, as much as it pains me to say this, I've gone with Mansfield Town, obviously beat the Cobblers in the playoffs last season, then lost in the final, lol. Uh, but yeah, Mansfield in second, uh, they've just really shrunk from this season, got the likes of Hiram Boateng now in midfield, kept the spine of their squad together from last season as well and I think they could really, really go on a promotion push. Uh, they're in some fantastic form last season, obviously started terribly and then, you know, kind of charged through into the playoffs and, you know, they probably could have got automatics as well with, with, with a couple more wins. And I think this season they'll start well and uh, be consistent throughout the season and, and end well and get that promotion. Uh, so Mansfield in second. And then top, I've gone with Stockport County. Uh, very, very rarely do you predict a team to come up from the National League to then go and win the league. But I think Stockport are a lot of people's favourites this season. I've seen a lot of people predicting, you know, the Cobblers to win the league. Don't think that's going to happen. I've seen Bradford being predicted winners. I've seen Mansfield, but I think it is going to be Stockport. Obviously, Kept a lot of their players from last season. Got Callum Camps in there. Scott Quigley, Paddy Madden. Fraser Horsfall has joined at the back as well. He'll add some solidity. They've got some EFL experience in that squad as well. They got out of the National League very easily. And I think they could get out of League 2 very easily and push on back into League 1. So I think Stockport are going to be the League 2 winners this season. There we have it. My 2022-2023 League 2 predictions. Let's just run through them from bottom to top. I've got Barrow and Harrogate to get relegated. Then we're going to go Colchester. 
uh, Walsall, Sutton, Stevenage, Swindon, Rochdale, AFC Wimbledon, Carlisle, Gillingham, Hartlepool, Crawley, Doncaster, Crewe, Leighton Orient, Grimsby in the playoffs, Newport, Salford, Tranmere and the Cobblers. And then my top three, Bradford City, Mansfield Town and then Stockport County, the League Two champions. Let me know what you think of the predictions. Let me know your predictions in the comments below. Who's going to get promoted? Who's going to be in the playoffs? Who's going to win the playoffs? Who's going to get relegated? Let me know in the comments below. We're back for the 2022-23 season. It's going to be a big one. Sorry if I've upset your team. Let me know if I've upset you in the comments or let me know if I've pleased you in the comments with my prediction as well. Some people might be surprised where I put their team in a nice way. Uh, some people, probably most people, will be surprised in a bad way, but you can't please everyone, can you? So let me know your thoughts on my predictions in the comments below. Make sure to smash a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button as well for more content throughout the season. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.